We are living in the age of the sixth mass global extinction. Experts warn that within the next 30 years, we'll lose one fifth of the entire species on the planet. And if trends continue, we'll lose half our species within the next hundred years. One quarter of our mammal species are at risk of dying out in the wild. But is anybody listening? Humankind's relentless pursuit of economic growth is causing habitat destruction worldwide, and many of our vital ecosystems are close to the edge. Ocean acidification is a probable eventuality, resulting from anthropogenic carbon dioxide emissions. There is a global loss of ecosystem functionality, as meteorological turbulence leads to diminishing carbon sequestration potential and reduced hydrological function. Are we failing to communicate? Have we forgotten what first inspired our love of nature? All the evidence shows that the single most important factor behind taking action is our childhood experience. The wellspring of our commitment comes from the emotional high we reach when in contact with nature. But how can this wonder be harnessed to change our behavior? Showing the loss of animals in faraway places may pull a few heartstrings, even attract donations. But does it really change our behavior? What if we were able to communicate to people the wonder of nature that surrounds them and promote education that leads to awareness of threatened species and the habitats they live in? In all parts of the world, we are beginning to see that public awareness does lead to change, where people can see the benefits from making their own contribution. It's not the depressing accounts of the wildlife we are losing that moves us. It's awe and wonder, enhanced by understanding that can inspire us to take action. It's love, not loss, 